Welcome to your top plays of the week. I'm Dan Roberts, arena announcer for the Utah Jazz, and you're about to vote for your top play of season five and the winner of 100,000 BC. Hit the music. Your first win. And it's a serious look this Indiana team had as they arrived at the arena, getting set to do battle on enemy turf. The Sacramento River in the foreground welcoming you to California's capital and our location downtown in Sacktown. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Allie LaFour. Hey, Al. Hey, Brian. You can... Oh, yeah. He's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. And now Indiana's starting group. We've got TJ Warren, Malcolm Brogdon out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then there's Miles Turner, and it's Jackson in at power forward. And for the Kings, Trey Lyles is... And a Run, well, hey, when you've got the speed and athleticism, it's the best way to play. You have to challenge the defense to keep up with you. And it's a completely new group for the Kings. DiVincenzo on the wing, covered by Rubio. DiVincenzo, pass to Holmes. Not going to go that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. And he's going for the oop here. Rubio finding the open man, it seems that's exactly what he was built to do. It's what he's paid to do. The Kings trailing. Now DiVincenzo coming off a 12-point game. Pass to Holmes. Turner against Lamb. Here's Stevenson. Kicks it out to MP. Now here's Smith. Defense is right there. Back come the Kings in transition. Lamb for three. No good. So Indiana will take it the other way. This is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. They would love to face this team more often. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, I would agree with you there. I mean, anytime you have an advantage on a team and you're looking to pile up wins, you'd like to have them on your schedule more times than just a couple. Here's Mitchell. Good D by MP. The Pacers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Down low. Turner against Holmes. Turner passes to Rubio. It's tipped. Outside Mitchell to the middle. Here's Holmes. Oh, and Turner with a block. What timing from Turner. I mean, that's a big part of blocking shots. Reading the shooter and then timing it perfectly to send that shot in reverse. Mitchell finds land. They double him with MP. Shot to win the cold streak. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Oh, and the fast break for the Pacers. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. That's how you want to see them crash to the glass. They've been out hustled so far. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Pass to Stevenson. Indiana again missing. Well, the Kings shooting 28% on this first quarter. Right wing. Outside, DiVincenzo. Lamb for three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. You know, this is an area of his game that he's honing. Lamb knows he has to connect more from outside to help his all-around game. You love how efficient Jeremy Lamb is. He's a player who really makes the most of his touches. He does a really good job at that. Substitution for the Pacers. Off 
On the court for the Pacers, we've got Jackson. MP is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's T.J. Warren. Here's Stevenson. And Holmes with the block. Here's Davis. Rebounded by Halliburton. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Pass to Stevenson. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. Here's Lyles. Here's Fox. Softly drops in the floater. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Getting good positioning close to the basket. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And he'll make him earn them from the line. And that's what you want to see. So it comes up empty at the line. Sacramento has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Davis lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And now it's just a four-point pacer lead. Really sweet passing from Fox. He's a reliable floor general and has great vision on the court. Davis against Halliburton. And MP gets it to go on the assist from Halliburton. Tyrese. MP's got his second bucket of the night. And it's the Kings with the ball. Fox outside. To the inside, Lyles. And so far in this one, two for four. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's MP. Oh, and Fox with the block. Barnes against Jackson. No good there. So Indiana will take it the other way. They're coming off that loss against Portland. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. Hey, knocking down free throws in a hostile environment is really about the battle of the mind. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, Brian. De'Aaron Fox has upped his scoring average every single season. He said, quote, it's just continuing to stay in attack mode early and often. I feel like no matter who it is, I can get to the basket. Once you see the ball go in a couple of times, it definitely helps to shoot jumpers after that, guys. That jump shot is the final piece, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. Fox outside. Over MP. Holmes. It's good on the putback. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Inside. Jackson can't get it to go. Pretty good battle going on here in Sacramento. Coming off a win against the Hornets. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. MP no good. And the Kings shooting 36% for the game. Not great. To the paint. Fox, that's good. Fox has got his third bucket of the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Stevenson. He's covered by Fox. Hook loose. And he stays with it. To the middle. And the dunk by Jackson. What a find. MP setting up the easy bucket. The Kings trailing. Davis, the pass to Holmes. Now Fox. Here's Lyles. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Indiana's gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. To the inside. And he lays it up and in. MP's got six points. You know, we've turned into a shooter's league. There's no denying that. But MP knows scoring inside is timeless. Fox got it. Makes him four for six from the floor. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Warren, the pass to MP. Oh, it's blocked by Fox. Now here's MP. Back to Halliburton. 
There's a minute 54 left in the second period. Shot clock at five. Tries again. Kept alive. And the dunk by Jackson. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. All right, time for an injury report. Now let's check in with Allie LaForce to see how Demonis Sabonis is doing. Allie? Guys, I was able to catch up with the Kings head athletic trainer. Looks like there was severe cramping in the thigh. Involuntary muscle contractions, which they're trying Matt to alleviate Stevenson. now. The question the now is how it will affect certain MP. players' roles going forward. No doubt some adjustments will have to be made. Well, we appreciate it, Allie. Hoping to see him back on the court soon, guys. They really hope to have him back, but it's so crucial that he's healthy when he returns. So bonus, the pass to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. And he's got it going now. When he's in this kind of a zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Halliburton outside. Pass to MP. Holmes against Warren. Back to MP. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Barnes, no good. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. MP, the pass to Halliburton. Drives to the hoop. Stevenson, no good. And the Kings shooting 44% from the field during the second. The three from Barnes. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Barnes has got six points in the quarter. Warren, the pass to MP. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, before MP made it to the league, we all saw his stuff on social media. It's been fun to watch MP grow over the years. For two. That one misses. Outside Mitchell. Shoots over Turner. And so it's De'Aaron Fox making... Way through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fair. Substitution for the Pacers. Here's MP. And that one drops MP. for him. MP's got nine. Good intelligent basketball on the part of Turner there. Assists like that will make the defense think twice about how they're going to defend him. They've got Alex Lynn, Dante DiVincenzo out there with Mitchell. Then there's Jeremy Lamb, and it's Holmes in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Shot clock at six. Here's Lamb. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. And they'll give that one to Miles second Turner. You know, aggressiveness is what helps Lamb be able teams. to draw these fouls. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines. But we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Brad, do you think that should count as part of their time? Uh, you know, B.A., I don't see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, uh, not exactly compatible. DiVincenzo can't hit. Indiana leading. Here's Stevenson. Shoots over Holmes. Here's Smith. Hauled in by the Kings. Holmes has got a sixth rebound on the night. Here's DiVincenzo. Sacramento again missing. Indiana's gone two for five from three since halftime. Here's Rubio. That shot off. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. The Kings have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Pass to Holmes. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. 
back to Turner. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. Lamb's got room. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Lamb's got four points now in the quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Kings. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. They forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Something else they've excelled at is their interior D. Their rim protection has been outstanding. Free throw good, MP. And both free throws good for MP. And Sacramento has possession. And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. And that'll be the finale in their four-game homestand. Holmes. The shot that time, not on target. So Indiana will take it the other way. MP left side. Here's Stevenson. They get it back. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to... Sacramento picking up the win. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that about wraps it up for Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.